Okay, so in this video what we'll be looking at is how to use a BK Precision 1627A DC regulated power supply. Uh, before we actually get into how to use it, I'd like to just point out the different uh, parts to it here. So we have our power supply or power button. We have our voltage display that uh, or display that would display both our voltage and our current. And then we have two areas over here, one that indicates when the power supply is outputting a constant current, one when it's outputting a constant voltage. We also have four knobs that are on here, two for current, two for voltage. Uh, if we want to move the voltage up in large increments, we use the, oh, pardon me, the current up in large increments, we would use the uh, right knob over here in order to move it up in large increments. If we want to move it up in smaller increments, we use this knob that's over here for the current, fine increments, okay? If we want to increase the voltage in larger increments, we have to turn this knob here. And if we want to increase the uh, voltage in smaller increments, we use this knob, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, turn on the power supply. And you'll notice at this time that the voltage is reading as 0 0.5 volts, 0 amps, and, a, uh, and it's giving a constant current for the output. So if I wanted to, let's say, increase the voltage, I could turn, and by the way, when you're increasing the voltage, you want to make sure that you have some current going through the uh, voltage supply. So I put some current going through, and I can turn the voltage, increase the voltage and get a constant voltage of let's say 15.2 no matter what circuit I'm connected to get 15.2 volts coming out of my power supply. Okay, And again you can change the fine button here to go up in slower increments uh, for voltage. Okay, Now you'll notice that as I turn the current knob here, the current does not actually increase. Okay and there's a reason for that. In order to set our current, uh, first of all, let's say set our current limit, uh, what we'd have to do is short the terminals out down here, and I forgot to mention that we do have three terminals at the bottom here, three output terminals. One is negative, one is uh, ground, and one is positive. For safety purposes, I highly suggest that what you do is to connect, and you can use two banana plugs uh, to do this, or a banana plug uh, cable to do this with banana plugs on both ends. Uh, you can connect, or you should connect the negative terminal and the ground terminal together, and that will help to keep you safe as you're um, going through uh, working with the power supply. Okay. So again, by putting those two in, notice that we still can't change the current, right? Okay, the current is still remaining at zero, but the voltage we can still adjust. In order to, uh, in order to set our, our current limiting here, okay, in order to set the current limiting, what we want to do is connect onto the negative terminal and then to the positive terminal over here and we can adjust the amount of current, the maximum amount of current coming out of the circuit, okay? We can, or, or the power supply, we can adjust the maximum amount of current that's coming out of the power supply, all right? And so that would be the max. And so if we were to, let's say, now have a circuit where we um, want to set the amount of current uh, to some given max, okay, or not, not a given max, but it's a specific value or even vary the current, what we will do is we would connect our, our uh, terminals here via cables uh, together, all right, so that we can set the amount of current that's coming out of here. And you may have seen a little bit of spark there, but that's... Um, that occurred, but we made sure that we remained safe by connecting our negative terminal here to the positive, or pardon me, negative terminal to the uh, ground here, okay? And again, this will, uh, by doing this, this will allow us to get a constant current coming out of the uh, supply. 
Um, when you're working on, uh, when you shorten the terminals out by uh, this way also, I, do, I would like to mention that you, in order to remain safe, make sure you're not touching the metal at the time. Make sure you're touching the insulation. And so make sure that you're opening and closing the alligator clips, if it's alligator clips that you're using via or use, by using the uh, insulated portion over here just to uh, make sure you remain safe. But as an added fail safe, we also connected the negative terminal and the ground together uh, using the banana clips, all right? So this was just a demonstration on how to get both constant current, constant voltage out of the power supply and to set the, um, to set the current limiting on the power supply, okay?